Read with me. Green Breaks, a red hot topic in motor racing. As motor racing goes green, Formula One is aiming to lead automotive research in finding high tech efficiency gains. One of the keys to this ecological drive is regenerative braking also known as kinetic energy recovery, which recovers energy generated during deceleration and stores it as a source of power for subsequent acceleration. Regenerative brakes limit the energy loss inherent in traditional braking systems. In most vehicles, conventional brakes comprise pads previously made from asbestos-based composites, but now, consisting of compounds of exotic, non-hazardous materials and discs made of ferrous metals. The resulting friction generates heat, which is wasted. In performance cars, this phenomenon is taken to extremes, and due to the high temperatures generated, brake discs are often made out of ceramics. The carbon discs and pads used on Formula One cars generate so much heat that they glow red hot. High temperatures are in fact necessary for the effective operation of carbon brakes but there is still plenty of potential for recovering the kinetic energy rather than merely dissipating it in the form of heat. The potential for recovering energy also extends to the heat generated by engines and exhaust systems. This area has also been discussed as a possible area for future exploitation in motor racing. Heat recovery might offer the added benefit of reducing heat soak, thermal absorption by the chassis, as delicate alloy pots and sensitive non-metallic materials such as polymers are susceptible to heat damage.